Um, Alone and Enola Holmes too. Now the first one I thought was all quite good fun, but the second one went unbelievably woke because it turned Moriarty into a black female woman. A gross. No, did it? Yeah. Oh, In the end, of course. So, uh, I know it was it was horrible. Uh, one here at, at Randa that we didn't see, didn't mention at all, or it didn't come up, but I saw the estate which was Tony Collette and um, other people. I can't remember who they were now. Uh, Amy, somebody. Um, I, can't, I can't remember. But basically, there was a bunch of people turning up to an old, miserable old cow's house to try and win over her money. Um, and everything. That was quite funny. Uh, if you get a chance to watch it, it was quite good because they were all really, really backstabbing to each other. It was quite, quite amusing. Um, Black Panther. Oh, this was uh, uh, this was such a good. loving Easily tribute. It was such a best, loving tribute. Yeah. Best movie of the year, boys. Let me tell you, there's nothing that I find more moving than the strong black females in this and how they overcome all of these disadvantages to show the world that they indeed could run. <laughs> I, I can't give you straight face. <laughs> <That's anything>. right. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I love as well to see the, <coughs> the diversity that they have in the, yeah, the uh, nation was, of Wakanda. There's lots of yeah, white very, representation. It was, I, you know, I, I'll honestly, I mean, they were put in a bad position when Bozeman died. I get all that. that was, he all, took a lot of nerve to do that. Yeah, that just, bastard. Yeah, I think uh, that. Because I think to myself, hang on a minute, they must have, he must have known he was dying. And it's like, can we sign you up, you know, for the MCU? Yeah, yeah go ahead sure, and pay me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> How, however many, the greatest what? troll ever, Chadwick. Don't ever change. <laughs> twenty film, twenty film exclusive contract. Sure, why oh, not? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then he realized he was in the MCU. He found there was some uranium on his balls. God, just yeah. just make it happen. Yeah. That's what. <laughs> that's what really killed him. Was he realized one day? I was like, oh fuck. He died. He died of sh- he died of shame. Yeah. But I mean, uh, okay. Fine. He passes away. They got to figure out how to do something. But I mean, making Shuri Black Panther, did, did they have to get somebody that could hide behind a microphone stand? Could they get some, like a Gina Carano or somebody that that type of build that would have yeah, been? Yeah, that would have been oh, yeah. the The internet's favorite uh, monster. Well, I don't mean her specifically. No, no. I, why didn't they just recast. Um, Bozeman, like, they should have. Why didn't they just recast? <laughs> why why oh. didn't they just? I mean, <laughs> Ryan, I think Ryan Gosling would have made a great Black Panther. We we kid at Bozeman's. So <laughs> 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 arms flailing around, he's fighting people. <laughs> oh man, savages. let's pitch this. Let's pitch this to Hollywood. Hey, hey, hey. I, uh, Heidi had a good idea. Recast uh, Black Panther with uh, Kanye West. <laughs> <laughs> now we're talking. That would have been. The that enemy would've... is. The enemy is coming, my king. The Jews. No, 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 no. What? No, who how said big, that? How Who's big they? were their noses? How big were? How big were their noses? Well, really, very big. I don't know. <laughs> How did he become king? <laughs> <laughs> so we put Black Bank to the bed. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> a Christmas story, Christmas. Pour, They're both pour out, a, pour out, pour out a forty for Bozeman boys. <laughs> yeah. Um, a story, a Christmas story, Christmas. Pour They're out of Sean, Colt forty-five. <laughs> Sean, uh, Sean and Sean and Yoda love this, but me and Matt, Matt. That's that's definitely a a American a culture versus, yeah, yeah, that's... um crap country thing I think yeah very lowbrow thing yeah yeah no I I if you love the Christmas story it does a very good job of continuing the story with an adult set of kids has the same actors in it they all go back into the roles like really really well given the amount of time that's passed and where they would probably be and it was fun and it wasn't woke and it was nice and it was was, wholesome and sweet and sincere and that was what i liked about it very earnest no what you're saying saying is gay no it wasn't bros yeah um didn't start out with oral sex scene no it did not (laughs) (laughs) 
a couple of newer stuff that's come out, which I've set, well, I've seen one and a half of them, but I did watch the other day. She said, which was the story about Harvey Weinstein and the, the expose and everything else, which was actually quite decent. It was quite well Man, done. Now, now I regret that Cecil couldn't come on with us today. I, it, I don't know. I just found it interesting. I mean, how true it all was, I don't know, but it was quite interesting. I did start watching Bones and All, which... That's supposed to be excellent. Well, as a concept, it is excellent. But as a story, I turned it off. It was boring as hell. The, the, the director is just a pretentious tosspot of a man. He's the same guy who did the remake of Suspiria, which, again, I couldn't finish. Uh, it was... uh, don't remind me that that exists. It was just... And, no, this, this Bones and All was just... It, it was great because it starts off with um, some girls are having a sleepover. And one of the girls... Mm, starts, wait a minute. I'm, uh, <laughs> no, 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 wait. Yeah. You'll love this, Sean. You'll love this, Sean, right? They're having a sleepover. One of the girls starts sucking on one of the other girl's fingers. And you're thinking, hmm. And then she bites it and starts drinking the blood. And I was going, oh. ah. Yeah. <laughs> and and the, the actual con- concept of the story is not maybe about vampirism, but more cannibalism. But just at the same time, it was just so boring. And I was thinking, mm. how do you mess this up? This, this is so interesting. Oh, and it was just, it's pretentious crap. And just, I've yeah, heard nothing but good things about it. Oh, from pretentious tit. <clears throat> I've heard that um, the book is excellent. Talking of fingers, Zap's cut his finger off. Who did? Zap says, him, this stream oh. may lead me to cut off a finger. Well, okay. okay. What? Well, stream it and send us a photo, mate. <laughs> That'd be God punishing you for saying She-Hulk was good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Even, even in joking, that's not funny. <laughs> yeah. So, new rule, we're like the Yakuza. You, if you do something really dumb, you have to cut, <laughs> cut off a finger and, and atone it. So. <laughs> and bring my um, yeah, to Dario, Sydney Sweeney. Enough sweet. And again, yeah, one of those movie. films that we haven't talked about for November is Strange World, which I'm really looking forward to. I want to see a new gay Disney character with a disabled Oh, dog. God. That, I forgot which one you Well, you probably about. do, actually, after watching oh, Bros. I didn't watch all of it. I only watched some of it. <laughs> only 90 yeah. minutes. He only watched 94 <laughs> minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Just it got to the end credits, and then I turned off. it off. <laughs> he, he, he only watched the first 10 minutes. That's about what all you need for a good fap. I mean, leave him alone. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to finish it up in about 10 minute increments. Going <laughs> yeah. <forward. Yeah. laughs> I didn't do it seven times. <laughs> you know, he's got to have a cigarette, take a nap, give the guy a break, you know? Um, Matt, is there any TV for November? There's lots of telly, no, we start with the you know worst. What we haven't we mentioned, we, I was going to say winner, but we haven't mentioned Andor as well. Boring shit. Yeah, we missed anyway. that in September. And I, to be honest with you, I'll, I'll, I'll save Sean. I didn't want to let him sit through that again. So I'll thank God, it. thank you. I really appreciate it. that. Was my Christmas? That was truly my Christmas present right there. There you go. There you go, my friend. Uh, so Willow. Obviously, I don't think anyone's watching that. Nope. Garbage. Well, I, 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 I was much more entertained listening to the drinker go on and on about it and let me know just how <laughs> yeah. bad it really was. And it strong was far female worse. character, strong female character, and ginger piece of wood. <laughs> I mean, I like the original Willow. It's nothing it earth shattering. It's yeah. fine. It is what it is. And I, I'd be up for a decent continuation of the story, but it sounds like this ain't it. This is what's, the most what's great garbage. about it is I was gonna say what is what's great about it is is saying California, so all the kids talk like this, is they like uh, yeah. you know, living in medieval medieval times with magic and stuff. It's it real. Just, it's yeah. It sounds just as awful as as you might have imagined. Okie doke. Okie doke. And uh, so you've got you. Wednesday. Oh, go Has anyone seen Wednesday? I no. have. No. Any good? Yep. I did watch it. Yeah, I I liked it. Um, I know Chapmo. He didn't like the ending. I didn't think it was that bad. I thought it was fine. Kind of was in line with all the macabre and weird that you would expect from the Adams family, but. I had fun with it. I thought she did a great job, and I it kept me going. I I I liked it. Okay, fair best show, not best show of the year or anything, but I thought it was fun. Yeah, I just didn't two even shows, bother. two shows that are just fucking exceptional. Is Yellowstone is obviously back season five, and Tulsa King, which is just gets better and better. It's great with every episode. It's brilliant, isn't it? 
I watched it three is. episodes the other night. Uh, Tulsa King is is I am I am rating this as as Stallone's third best character. Like you know, he's obviously got Rocky and Rambo, and those are always be his top two. And then yeah, we can argue about uh, other movies. Say he's what done. What about the shark in? What about the shark in the Suicide Squad? <laughs> yeah. So that's, that's good. That's a toughie. <laughs> I you you're, you're challenging me here. <laughs> But, I will uh, put that on the list. I will put that on the list. Yeah, but they're, they're I, I think he's fantastic in this. I mean, he really, yeah. he leans, I, I wouldn't say he leans into his age, but he plays where a guy would be at that age properly with the yeah. wisdom of the world and and, and uh, desire to get back at people and things like that. I don't know. I just, it's really well done. And this guy, Taylor Sheridan, everything he seems to do is really, really good. He has not made a wrong move. Yeah, he's not made a bad product yet. I I was start. I I looked into his stuff. I guess he does one with Jeremy Renner that's also on Uh, Paramount Plus. I haven't watched yet. What's it called? What's it called? The Mayor of Kingston or something like that. Something like that. That's Mayor of Kingston. Mm. um, It's not rated very good, but after seeing all this Taylor Sheridan stuff, I'm like, God, I'm gonna give it a shot because everything he's doing seems to be really, really. Well thought out. Yoda is pretty know. faultless, to be honest with you. It's just as good. Mm. And lastly, TV one, which is one Sean you really need to get on board with, is the Gangs of London. Yeah, I intend to. I just uh, which, which one is that? Where's that? Gangs on? of London. Where? Tom, where? where? Uh, Sky oh, well, wait there. I'll send yeah. you a link. <laughs> in, 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 Got England. it. I'll find it. England is where London is, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let me. Um, um, oh, well, it actually, it's called New Kazakhstan it. now. I don't know. If <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, Gangs of London is absolutely fantastic. That The first series ended on such a good cliffhanger. I felt the beginning of the second series was slow at first, but it really started picking up. Oh, Gangs of London is brilliant. It's absolutely brutal. All right. Really all right. brutal. And, uh, yeah, why don't you just it's... marry it then if you love it so much? Is oh, well. This... <laughs> <laughs> is this the same like from the they they did a Gangs of London movie way back when I think with Leo DiCaprio is this have anything to do with that? Uh, or is it oh, that's Gangs of New York. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, and that was, was set that in like nineteen hundred. <laughs> Was that a joke, or was you being serious when you said that? I, really I need to know. I just having a single <laughs> moment. I thought it was both Gangs of London. I just. They oh both start God. with gags of, Holy you know. I don't, I don't mess shit. with the stuff afterwards. It's, you Holy. know, gangs uh, of oh, some city, G- gangs of London. That's near New York, isn't it? <laughs> sure. <laughs> I thought it was called Gangs um, of London too. I no, gangs, know. gangs of London. There's got a guy in it called Jack O'Connell who was in. He was the bad guy in the most upsetting film I've ever seen, The East of e- uh, the Eden Lake. East of Eden. <laughs> Used to be, yeah. See the moment. Sorry, what? I the moment. The one with the one with uh, Rosie O'Donnell and Bonnie Shear. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Oh man, Dan Aykroyd. <laughs> I think that's Exit to Eat It or something. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yes. Oh, right. but yeah, no. So uh, yeah, he was in Eden Lake, and he is really good in this. He is such a great bad guy. Oh, is he? Just... Is he? So he must be gay if you like it that much. His brother is. He's Phil, Phil the only one thinks he thought it was called Gays of London. <laughs> the Gays of London. There's nothing in this. Oi, sorry. Oi, so, oi, so, sorry, buddy. Oi, oi mate, hey. you fancy a bit of butt loving. You got, you got the wrong way. You should have gotten Gays of New York. <laughs> yeah. um, the um, funny enough that episode six in the second season has got that girl Lale, she's called, and man, she kicks ass. She is. I don't. Is I'm not. A, I'm only two episodes. Don't spoil it. Is she a oh, strong independent? Is she a strong independent woman? Woman. No, woman. Um, <laughs> no, no, no. She's she's just basically she's been brought up in Turkey, and so she's been brought up in in war, and she she just knows how to handle herself. It's it's Bro. it's a strong. It's a strong she, woman done right. So if she was brought up in Turkey, she must be well versed in being Swedish hugged. Oh yeah, very much so. 
Um, but no, it is a brilliant series. And like I say, I've just finished the second series now. And it's, it's, I, I, I think it's sort of starting to slowly come to a conclusion now. They don't need to keep carrying it on. Thank you for watching this excerpt from Outpost Frequencies. Tune in live every Sunday at noon central time or six o'clock UK time. And also, remember to come to lastmovieoutpost.com for all your latest in movie news, streaming news, and everything cool about film. We are the cool news now. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next stream.